we've had another smashing incident. And this time it wasn't at home. Andy smashed a computer at school. We are out this morning for a number of errands. Some of them arguably more important than others. Errand number one, we're gonna head into Sports Direct because I'm gonna try and get an England shirt, which I don't think I've got much chance of getting one of those cool retro ones in my size at this point. I'm not gonna buy the fancy 70 pound real one, but I like, quite like the, uh, the blue retro one that I've been seeing around. Um, so I think that's where they sell them. I've looked on the internet and they only have smalls and mediums still in stock, but we'll check in Sports Direct. Once we're done there, we're heading a little bit further along where there is an Iceland. I need to buy a pizza because we've made it through to round two of the Chicago Town Tournament of Toppings. Keep an eye on Instagram for how to vote in the next round of that. Thank you to everyone who voted in that. Um, as I mentioned before, the further into that we get, the more money Kevin gets for buying two stupid England shirts. We've then got into the post office. We've got other bits and bobs to do and then at some point we might actually finally make it home to get some work done today. Andy's just going to school fine. The reason I'm standing here apparently not doing anything is because Anna's currently on the phone to her bank with a fraud phone call. So um, the day might be about to take a turn if she's just had all of her money robbed off of her. But fingers crossed, it's just a precaution because she spent too much on Xbox Live yesterday when she got her new Xbox. Thank you very much. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. You won't be able to do Tesco through my old phone. Boo! And <laughs> so what have someone tried to do? Buy something. From where? Because um, when I had this a few years ago, it was um, a hotel in Las Vegas, car rental, and a jewellery shop, I think. So someone had basically gone on holiday with my card. But it was all blocked. But they were trying to use it for all that kind of stuff. Um, it was like... Cook fresh something. Oh, okay, boring. Then. Nothing was taken. Less but, interesting than it being a Las Vegas hotel. But they've, the, the card you do for Tesco no longer works. Ooh. Okay, right, let's go and find an England shirt. <laughs> well, we'll call that trip this morning semi successful. They didn't have any England shirts left in Sports Direct, as I guess you would imagine at this point. I really wanted the, is it the 1990 blue retro one? But the website. They're all skinny boy sizes. Don't think I'm going to be getting an England shirt. Probably shouldn't have left it to midway through the tournament to decide to go and get one. What a silly goose. Uh, we did, however, manage to find the pizza in Iceland. So there'll be another <laughs> Chicago Town promo coming up on Iceland this week. We made it through to the second round with the magnificent meat feast. So if you want to vote again uh, for the second round to try and get me through to the final, the link to that is down in the description below so you can vote on that. And we got to the post office. So I finally managed to post out couple of bits that I have supposed to have posted out ages ago, shirts and things that people have won. So I would call that, I mean, that's two out of three. That's a pretty successful morning. Um, I've come back, made some Football Manager videos on my new setup, all on one PC. It seems to have worked okay. I've not edited them yet, so they could have been disasters built into the system somewhere, but fingers crossed that works. It's now half past 12. We pick Andy up at two as usual. So I've got an hour and a half to edit together two Football Manager videos and yesterday's vlog. So I should probably stop chatting to you lot. Boys and girls, it's been brought to my attention that the clip we filmed for yesterday's vlog about Anna getting this, her Xbox Series S. Um, I don't know if I just wasn't recording or if it got corrupted, but when I went to edit the video together, it wasn't there. So I said to Anna we needed to film some of it and she said, we already did. And now I remember we did, but it didn't get into yesterday's vlog because the footage wasn't on the card. So we have the Xbox Series S. Here it is, pride of place. Down there next to the PS5 and the Switch dock, it does mean that Anna's trusty PS4 Pro has finally been relegated to the sofa. Does it live on the sofa now? It's going into Rue's room. Okay, yeah, once, once Andy gets a TV again, he can have that. Um, He's already got a basic. Yeah, we may as well give him the good the one. Pro, yeah. We've also got the Xbox One S mm. that's going to go in there as well to replace his Xbox One that he's got at the moment. So he's going to get an upgrade of our old bits and pieces. But we have our full complement of next generation consoles now. And Anna, 
<laughs> yes, Kevin. What are you doing on it? I am playing Prey. Prey? Yeah. This game was a launch title on the Xbox 360, wasn't it? No. Prey was? No, Prey absolutely was an Xbox 360 launch title. They might, have, 2017. They, might have had a re, they might have done a new version of it. Oh, this is a new version, not that yeah. one. Not Prey was definitely one. an Xbox 360 game. Why have just... you got a bandage? Oh, I hate the doctor. Dave, where have you got that from? Over there, it's my foot bandage. I see. Um, Why? <laughs> Why? I think, he's, my bandage for? I think he's telling you it needs to put him away. I have it on my foot now and again to, <laughs> to make it stay in a position that doesn't hurt. Yeah. Just also noticed you have a little pile of cans so, down there as well. Do you know what? Why have you got a pile of cans? Because that wo I texted that woman the other day. And what she woman? The can pick up. Oh, I see. And we didn't have any bags. We've got bags now. Okay. And that's where I sit when at night time. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. You've got your little, it's been very up, your little pile of stuff there. Your beverage. You're a monster. Um, so, the plan for the Xbox <gasps> is what? It's got... It's got the FPS boost on it and the quick auto HDR and the... Goodness me. So the plan for the Xbox is that, is the toy that will have Xbox Game Pass on because Game Pass is awesome. And then she's got the Fancy Pants PS5 for uh, Fancy Pants games. But yeah, are you, uh, are you a satisfied customer? It's not an X, but yes. Well, we couldn't get the X. I know, couldn't. Yeah. But the thing is with the X, I would never have played third party games on it. No. Like four cry six, well, I'll play on the yeah, PS5. That's what we just so. said. Um, the other thing, um, we did leave a cliffhanger at the end of yesterday's video that Anna had ordered lateral flow tests and thought she might have COVID. Um, the fact that you don't seem ill at all today oh, I've got suggests sore throat. you probably don't have and COVID. I've had medication. The tests haven't come yet, have they? No, but I had medication this morning. Just had okay. some more now. I, I don't feel great no. in the mornings. It's um, probably hay fever. The new variant, apparently, headaches and sore throat. What was with the air quotes for variant? Variant was the right word. <laughs> Delta variant. That's the name! You don't air quote it! <laughs> well, the Delta variant. <laughs> yeah, apparently, they did a big test and it's sore throat and headaches and I've had all of that and just don't feel okay. genuinely well, so... We'll keep you updated. Obviously, if Anna does end up testing positive for COVID, you'll all have to go and get a test now, having <laughs> watched this video and been exposed to it. So fingers crossed no, she I've hasn't got it. Still. You don't see it no, now. I'm because even... we are super and impervious to illness. <laughs> we have a child. Here, look. Let's go and put this in the garden. Why turn the lights off? Turn the lights on. Oh, stop off. Off. Stop off. it. Stop it, Andrew. Off, please, Daddy. No, the light can stay on. Stick this in the garden. Off. No, the light's staying on. And then I have something else to give you. That's so these are bits the that we bought from the post office. We've discovered our local post office has a sensory toy section. Because so, their favourite customer is autistic, apparently. Oh. So we got to raid the stuff. And the back lot, where the lights are. That they got in. They're here. Over here. Where have your shoes gone? I don't know. Not here. Over here. In this bit. Where do you want to put it? No food. No, that's found the food. Can you put it there? Yeah. Excellent. Does it spin? It will when it's. I would like to see it spin. Excellent work. We finished now. Right, then I've got one more to give you. So, oh, then, what is this? I don't know. That looks like a tag. Oh, wait, then. It's come off something. I don't know what it's come off. Did you have a good day at school? Turn the light off. We're outside, there's no light on out here. Not, oh, I think this is the other toy that she bought. Hello, Dave. Are you wondering why we're outside? Are you coming? Well, that's that lost. I get that one. Amazing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, Dave, they're not for you. No, 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 no. They're not for you. I think you'll find I get to hold one. They're the rules. Please ball me. Not over there. Over here, Are you going to catch it then? Can I catch it? Oh! <laughs> oh, they come out at a strange angle. Well then. Hey! Finish now. Okay. 
These are awesome. Can we play? I'd like to catch. No, Dave, don't eat it. Aye, aye. <laughs> you don't fire them properly. The wind. Mm. We're going to keep filming until I catch one. Oh, that went in and came out. <laughs> that counts. And one more for you. Oh, God. Me? Yeah. No. Over here, then. Oh. Got to get it in the hole, Kevin. Excellent post office toys. It's not that he didn't like them, he's just used to his routine. If he comes home, he goes yeah, upstairs, he chills out for an hour, and then he re emerges looking for food. So I imagine when he's down after dinner watching Night Garden, he'll probably show a little bit more interest in them. Toys. Oh, I dropped a ball. And then my ball dropped. It's a bit late for that, isn't it? Well, it seems like we definitely have some kind of SD card issue. I hope it's an SD card issue and not an issue with this shiny new camera that I've had less than a month because not only did we have the clip that dropped out yesterday of the Xbox, but I'm just editing this together the next day and the last clip of the video is gone as well. It didn't just end with me doing a ball gag believe it or not so I don't know why that hasn't saved I definitely filmed it I am very confused but as it is as it's all worked out um, it's probably for the best because I've got an update to give you of something that's happened today so this is kind of going to be a two-day vlog and we've done a live stream today it's all good it's all worked out just fine uh, but it's not the most positive update in the world to, I mean I think that's been quite a, a fun just going around having fun doing fun stuff video and here we are 10 minutes in I'm having to smash you over the head with something that's not as fun smash is probably the right word as well because we've had another smashing incident and this time it wasn't at home and he smashed a computer at school which is not good um they took us I mean as you can imagine it's not good they took us to, or took Anna to one side and we went to pick him up today and just said he's had an incident with a computer where basically they don't know what was going on he was using it and then all of a sudden he'd thrown it and when they went to pick it up it was all smashed up where he'd just thrown it and it obviously landed awkwardly and smashed and they're not they're not blaming him for it from what I can tell he didn't even really get in trouble for it which I'm I'm not sure I agree with based on what we've been doing at home with not letting him have a new TV. They've just replaced it with another laptop for him to use straight away because it's what he uses to do most of his schoolwork on. So he hasn't really had any consequences of doing it. They wanted to make us aware. We've made them aware, again, of the stuff that's been going on at home with that kind of thing. But I don't know whether it's another example of him just smashing stuff because he thinks he's going to get a replacement. I think it's less likely to be that in this case because he has a long and storied history of not really getting on with PCs. It's why we don't let him use either of the, the main PCs we have in the house. It's like Even under supervision, I wouldn't want him using my PC or Anna's PC because he, has, he just has a history of as soon as anything he wasn't expecting happens, whether it's a Windows update or a program crashing or or having to restart or a pop-up or anything he, he hates it this is why he relies so much on his ipad because his ipad doesn't really do unexpected things whereas pcs regularly do unexpected things and he's always reacted the same way pretty violently he had a he had a laptop when I first met Anna that was, he used to be able to pull the battery out of it and we'd just be sat there minding our own business and all of a sudden the battery would go flying across the room and we'd hear a crash over the other side of the room where he'd just thrown the battery one way, thrown the computer the other way. But that compute, that computer was basically indestructible. It, it survived dozens, if not hundreds of smashings and we just put it back together again and it worked fine. I remember probably early on in the vlog, um, he'd had a couple of run-ins with a laptop that he had at that point and it basically got to the point where the monitor, the, the screen of the laptop was being held on by tape and the keyboard and mouse didn't work so we'd have to plug in a separate USB keyboard and mouse 
and taped the screen back on because we couldn't afford to replace the computer that he had but he was really into using computers at that point and even then he would still just smash it it's why he doesn't have a laptop at the moment he well we have one for him we just don't let him use it unless he's under close supervision he's not allowed it in his room which is why he doesn't use it because he's not interested in hanging out with us and being supervised while he does stuff so i hope i think i hope what's gone on at school today is more uh, that's just what he does with computers which isn't ideal but we manage up by not really letting him use them and hopefully they'll find ways to manage it within school so it doesn't keep happening i know at his old school he always used ipads they don't really have much in the way of ipads at this school so that's why he's using a laptop because they've got more of them um so hopefully they'll figure out a solution and i hope it's not something he's done deliberately to try and get a new one i don't think it is but obviously We'll watch this space and let you know if it happens again or if we get any further developments from it. But it wasn't a nice thing to be met out of school with, that he's terrorising things again. It's becoming more and more of a theme. Genuinely starting to wonder if I need to get a lock on this door. He's taken to unplugging Anna's PC in the living room. She'll just go to turn it on and all of the plugs would have been unplugged. We don't even know when he's doing it because he's never in there on his own. Unless he's coming down here in the morning or, or what, I don't know when he's doing it. But for whatever reason, he doesn't like Anna's PC in the living room. So he just unplugs everything out of the adapter under the table. If he came in here, that would be disastrous. Which is why I'm whispering. So I don't need to overhear and think that coming in here is a possibility. At the moment, he knows he doesn't touch this door and he doesn't come in this room. It only takes one time. I'm a little worried. Fingers crossed, nothing to worry about. We'll see you tomorrow.